Let's chat fall 2024 handbag trends. I am so excited for all of them. As you can see, I absolutely love handbags. If you're new to my channel, my name is Natalie. My channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And I'm going to kind of show you and talk about the major trends. I'm going to show you bags at different price points. I'll show you some examples of like vintage bags in my collection that kind of fall under these trends, as well as finding some new ones, different price points. And just a reminder, everything will be linked down in the description box below. You just hit the more and it'll expand and I will put kind of a good mix of everything I'm talking about and showing here as well as everything I'm wearing. And side note, these earrings right here are almost sold out. They are new in style from one of my favorites, Orium Collective. And you can use code Natalie at 20 for 20% off on their site. So I will link these below. I am so in love with them. Silver is like one of my absolute favorite fall trends right now just loving silver jewelry as you guys saw in my last video i showed that like silver tiffany elsa pretty necklace the vintage one that i'm absolutely in love with so anyways i will pop this down below and if you want to see fall fashion trend video after this bag trend video let me know put it down in the comments and i can make that for you guys but let's get right into it and start with the top handbag trend and i think this is going to be like the number one prevailing trend of them all and it is big bags so the big bags range from anything like the row margot bag so kind of like a big top handle to kind of like a slouchy hobo style and to me personally i think this is going to be like the bigger of the trends for fall and also it's so practical so i love this like large oversized sling style this bag is from kate i have a whole video on it dedicated i can link below for you guys but i love this one it is super oversized perfect for a mom on the go like me i can throw in all of the stuff for myself and my toddler fits everything it's comfortable it's practical but also like very cool and on trend so i love that big bags are trending right now i think it's so great as much as i love a mini bag and i will never give them mini bags this is just like so practical for like my day-to-day -day and my lifestyle so i love it now i did see also madewell is making very similar shapes to these right now Price points are insane and they come in really gorgeous colorways like different suede and leathers so a little bit for everyone and definitely budget friendly so i will link a couple options below as well as this kate one but yeah anything like big slouchy oversized we're just seeing that like relaxed almost boho feel but i, would, I don't know if i'd call it boho because like i'm not a boho kind of person but i still love this trend i think it's very easy practical i still think ones like the row park tote are still going to be very on trend that's again a shoulder style that's like super slouchy and relaxed anything that has that like soft smooshy leather and is a bit oversized is really on trend so there's a lot of those totes around right now i'll kind of round up a couple and put them down below for you guys but yeah a great trend and something that i am really looking forward to so the next trend is barrel shaped bags and i touched on this just a little bit in my last video where I did a bunch of vintage unboxings. And this was one of the bags. So this is a vintage Louis Vuitton mini Papillon, but we're seeing it in current collections such as the Row. They have a few cylinder shaped bags. We're just kind of seeing a resurgence of it. Louis Vuitton's always doing different versions of this bag still and some other brands as well. So something that's like a really cool, interesting shape. I just think it's really fun and different. It's not something you have to spend a ton of money on. There's definitely some in the high street as well, like with that barrel kind of shape, but just something like interesting and different. So I am personally very into this and I love going vintage route for this. I just think this is the like original one. So to me that that's always the way I personally like to shop when I'm looking for trends is something that I think kind of like goes within my personal style and something like this is definitely the way to go when it's vintage. So I will link any I can find similar to this down below, as well as some of the new versions that are out right now. Now, burgundy bags are always trending for fall. I just think that burgundy is always a very fall forward color. So as much as you can call it a trend, I mean, it's kind of a classic. So I think you can't go wrong if you are going to look to invest in a burgundy accessory or bag for this season because I think you can wear it for years and years. I have this, which is an old The Row Ascot bag in like a really deep burgundy color. I also picked up this back in the spring. This is from Porto. 
It's just like a little like drawstring pouch that's in burgundy. I love adding a little bit of a burgundy pop to my outfits. I think it's really beautiful, especially going into fall. I really liked it actually in the summer because it felt a little bit unexpected. It's a little bit more expected in the fall. So the way I like to style burgundy is I like to like mix it with things that aren't quite as like fall palette. Like I don't want to look like a pumpkin spice latte. You know what I mean? I mean like a full like monochrome outfit of like a neutral. And then you kind of add a burgundy pop. I like that better than like going like all the burnt oranges and burgundies and like the greens that are also like trending for this season, it's a bit much. We're definitely seeing this color wise all over again, high street versions, really inexpensive options as well as luxury, which I do think that if you are looking to invest in one of the trends for this season, I think burgundy is a really safe one as far as like getting use out of it from year to year. So a beautiful color and much more me than the reds that have been trending for the last year. So I did a condensed version chatting this over on my Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I'll pop it on the screen and I'll put a link down below for you guys. But that's where I'm the most active. I style all my bags, chat a lot more about bag trends and all sorts of bags and show my everyday outfits and outfit ideas and et cetera, et cetera. So much more over on my Instagram. But I did like a quick bag trend video and that's what kind of inspired me to do like a full YouTube video about it. But one that I didn't include, and it is a big trend, but the reason I didn't include it is, well, it's suede. So, I mean, in fall, I just feel like suede is another obvious choice, just like burgundy. Suede's trending every fall. But I think where it's coming into play is that a lot more brands are incorporating suede into their offerings. So we're just seeing a lot more of it. It's always popular, but yeah, we're seeing a wider range of suede and especially in accessories. I think where we're seeing it is a lot more different colors of suede. So because brown's been on trend the last couple of years, we're seeing a lot more like rich chocolatey brown suedes, as well as we're seeing like burgundy suedes again with the burgundy being on trend, we're seeing burgundy suedes and other ones as well. So again, in both clothes and accessories, suede is very big. But it's something that if you feel like you're going to want to invest in, I think that suede is something that is always trending. It's like a classic thing. So you don't really have to necessarily worry about it. Now, the one thing with suede is it is a little bit more delicate. So it does take a little bit more care when you're wearing it or styling it. And something else to think about with suede is that depending on what you're wearing, you could get color transfer either way. So if you're thinking like a lighter color suede, you have to be careful with things like wearing with darker denim. If it's something like a crossbody or it's gonna be sitting on your body and rubbing, you have to think that that could color transfer onto the back. And same with wearing a dark suede and you're wearing like a really light outfit, that could transfer as well. So it is something you have to kind of think a little bit more about when you're styling. The way that I personally like to go suede is a vintage bag, of course. You see I have a few vintage suede bags or something that's a little bit lower price point. So for example, this is a brand called Little Lifner. I got this bag about a year ago and it's a great one. The price point's really good. They're great quality, but also a reasonable price point to where I feel like you don't have to feel like you're gonna baby it so much. When you're spending thousands of dollars on a new bag and it's suede, you're going to be more cautious wearing it. You're gonna be scared that you, know, you don't wanna spill on it. You don't want it to get wet in the rain, any stains. It's just a lot more difficult to take care of. So I do recommend if you are gonna think about buying a new suede item, maybe consider trying something a little bit lower price point, trying it out and seeing how you get on with it, how you like wearing suede. Does it go with your outfits? Do you feel comfortable wearing it from day to day? And it's still a beautiful quality bag, but it's not something you're gonna be so scared of because you wanna actually wear the bags that you're purchasing. So it's just something I personally think about with a more delicate type of piece to either go vintage, pre-loved, or to go with something that's a little bit of a lower price point. Let's talk animal prints. So animal prints, again, something in fall that always start to come up. We're seeing a lot more animal prints. How I personally like to go about animal prints is I don't love the like straight up leopard. I like something that has more texture to it. So for me, I love like the pony hair versions that are coming out of animal prints. Just think it adds a lot more richness and texture to an outfit. But so something like pony hair, which is very on trend at the moment, we are starting to see those in current offerings. 
Another way of incorporating animal print is using like animal textures, so like embossed leathers that have like a texture already to them, as well as like pony hair type of ones are typically how I like to go about the trend. Now this is like a tiger print and it's really all animal print. So just kind of go for whatever you feel like is the most personal to your style because really they all trend every fall. So it's not like snakes in one year and out the other, like it may be more popular some years than other and leopard print may be more popular some years than others, but it's always pretty much a prevailing trend. And again, when we call it a trend, it's something that just continues to pop up. So I think a lot of these, and which I really appreciate for a lot of these fall trends is that they're ones that you can get longevity out of. I really love that trends are kind of going into a little bit more of longer cycles of being in or out. And because vintage is becoming more prevalent again i just feel like the life cycle of things lasts a lot longer there are definitely like more options available in certain things and that's what is kind of more of what we were talking about as far as trends for the season now this is something i almost think is more of a micro trend it's not like a mainstream every brand is doing this but i do think it's one to keep on your radar i think it's going to end up continuing to gain speed over the next seasons to come but it is kind of this distressed type of leather. And we're seeing it in clothing as well. Think of brands like Miu Miu, they're doing it in both their bags and their clothing, but everyone's kind of copying Miu Miu at this point. So I do think we're gonna start seeing it more and more coming into the mainstream. Now, what is it? It's essentially vintage looking leather, like it's made to look worn. Now this is an actual vintage bag, but it does still have that kind of distressed sort of leather to it this is a vintage celine bag but there are new versions as well so this is a bag from a brand called hanwen which also has that like you see that like ombre effect to it that gives that little bit of like kind of rough vintage faded feel to it that is going to be very on trend we'll link this bag because this is still available just a little bit interesting and different and again you could just go for a bit of a worn out vintage bag and you still get that look so all kind of along the same lines, like things don't have to be looking super perfect. I think that's kind of the prevailing trend of this is just kind of like things that look a little bit worn and loved. And you know, I'm all for that because I love my vintage. So something to keep in mind for the trends. The last trend isn't so much bags, but it's bag charms. Bag charms have been going strong the last few months and I feel like they are not going anywhere anytime soon which is so interesting because I feel like the last time they were trending was not that long ago. It was like, what, 2016, 17, 18-ish time when we think of all the big like Fendi furry ones. Now they're just like a little bit smaller and almost a little bit more practical, if you could say. Like sometimes people have like keychains hanging from them or just like necklaces. We're kind of repurposing things we already have into bag charms. So think about like a chain necklace you have, just tying that around. I've done a vintage belt before tied around my the row park tote and that looked really cool. So just kind of playing with the things that you already have and kind of creating just like a little like bag mess situation. I did just get this in. This is actually a bag charm. This is from Susanna Vega, but how cute a little avocado. And I just thought that was really fun and different gives like a little bit of like quirkiness and playfulness to an outfit. I really like that. It adds a little bit of layering and texture. Um, a little bit of color depending on what you're going for. So something like that to keep in mind. I also have this bag from Parker Thatch, which kind of embodies a lot of the trends. I feel like like the smooshy oversized and they also do bag charms and they sell bag straps. So you can kind of like customize your own bag, but this kind of has like that charm situation. This came as a set. So it already kind of has that mix and match feel without you having to do it yourself, which is really nice. So another good option, I will link this whole situation below as well. And this reminds me, actually, I feel like I've gotten in so many more reasonably priced bags. So like under a thousand dollar bags recently. Would you guys like me to do a like review video or a little like collection video of some of the newer ones I have? I mean, I could do a full contemporary bag collection as well. That might be lengthy because I have a lot of them. I haven't done that in a while. So let me know if you guys wanna see any of that. Let me know down below in the comments, as well as if you want to see fall fashion trends video, I could definitely put that and maybe I'll do it like a spin on my personal favorite fashion trends because there's a ton of them. 
but you know, I don't think they're all necessarily wearable or my personal style. So I can kind of highlight and show some stylings of different ones that I'm into. If you're interested in that type of video as well, please let me know down below. I really love hearing the types of videos that you guys want to see from my channel. It's really helpful and kind of guides me to kind of do different videos. So let me know. Let me know what was your favorite bag trend of these. What are the ones that you're eyeing or any specific bags you're eyeing? I would love to know and to chat. Put it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you love handbags. I have a ton of other handbag review videos for you guys. I talk a lot about vintage. I do vintage edits, so a lot of shopping, which I also have on my Substack, which is linked below. That is completely free and a little bit more in depth chatting about different trends, shopping, what I'm shopping for at the moment. And when I do like vintage edits of things that I'm loving that are available, I put them in there first. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, take care. Bye.